Today marks the 80th anniversary of D-Day, considered the beginning of the end of World War II. On June 6, 1944, about 150,000 U.S. and Allied troops stormed the beaches of Normandy in Nazi-occupied France. Thousands of lives were lost in what's known as one of the United States' bloodiest battles to date. But it was a turning point in the war that ultimately led to the downfall of Nazi Germany one year later. WJCL 22 News' Andy Cole joins us now live from the World War II Memorial on River Street. And Andy, you attended a special D-Day memorial service today. Yeah, that's right, Shannon. More than 10,000 men died on June 6th, 80 years ago. For Americans, it is still the deadliest battle to date. Much lesser known is the connection Savannah has to the win at Normandy. The greatest news story in 1944, D-Day, H-Hour. 80 years ago Thursday, America's greatest generation earned their title. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands of Allied troops landed on French beaches, trying to take German-occupied France back. We paced around the barracks waiting for the results. So it was, a, it was a banner day and one that we paid close attention to. Now 101 years old, Tech Sergeant Gordon Fenwick remembers his time in the war. He flew a total of 35 missions as a radio man and survived to tell the story. My best buddy, I was thrown up on his second mission. At that point, I think, I understood there was a war on it. Fenwick is one of the fewer than 1% of World War II veterans still living today. Oh, say can you see? He and his brothers were honored for their service on this 80th anniversary of D-Day. The International Siemens House also paid homage to the connection Savannah has with that infamous day. Nationwide, 2,710 Liberty ships were produced in 18 shipyards, 88 ships were built in Savannah. Had it not been for those vessels, it could have ended differently. The Liberty ships were the backbone of the supply chain for the Allies. Without them, D-Day may not have happened. The men who stepped out of this glider will never know if their first mission was successful. But it was plenty. 80 years gone, but their mission will never be forgotten. In recollection, it was a turning point for the whole world. <laughs> and the sacrifice of those people. Talk, talk about sacrifice. The National Park Service tells us of the more than 2,700 Liberty ships that were created more than 80 years ago. Only two survive today. Live from Savannah's World War II Memorial on River Street, I'm Andy Cole, WJCL 22 News. And 88 of those ships built right here in Savannah. Just incredible. Thanks so much, Andy.